YouTube, Auto Railroader fans, and whoever else watches this wonderful brand of nuttiness, welcome to Beauville and Newtown's vlog number 24 for 2017. It happens to be Sunday, December the 3rd. Now, first and foremost, I said that I was going to end the contest this weekend. Well, um, I've decided to let this go an extra week. And here's the reason being why is the fact that right now I've only got eight people <laughs> that have uh, emailed me uh, any type of an answer. Um, most of them have it right. I think there's only one person that didn't quite catch it, but that's okay. Um, right now I've got Eric. I've got Derek Varner. I've got Sparky107107. I've got James Thompson. I've got Marcel. I've got Dave Thurber. I've got Mark from m and Rails and Hot Rod Rodney. Um, those are the eight that are currently in the contest. So, if you didn't hear your name, it's probably because I either didn't get an email, I missed the email, or you sent it someplace else. That's okay. Again, in the bottom of this, after, for the comments section of this video, um, I will have my email address again. And this all goes back to, I believe, let me just double check this real quick. Um, I believe it starts with uh, Vlog 21. Um, is when this was this whole thing starts, yeah. It would be Vlog 21 2017. That was done on 11-5-2017. Uh, uh, um, or November the 5th. For those that like to do it the other way, then whatever. Anywho, that's the video in question. There is a little clip at the end of that video. Around the 16th and 17th minute, my niece calls me something. That was that was where we were supposed to be looking, and it happened to be a commercial or an infomercial for a device that was used to cut hair. I think it was either in the late 80s or the early 90s. You hooked it up to a vacuum cleaner. So, those are all the hints, that's all we're getting, so, next weekend, um, the 9th, or the 10th, depending, probably going to be the 10th, I will do, I will do the drawing. So, you still got another week, if you went in on the action, you got another week, and what they're play, what you're playing for is the Penn Central boxcar. That must be an Atherin blue box, and another Atherin blue box was this dude. Uh, I put this together years ago, painted it up for the CSX, so unfortunately it's too new for the railroad, so it needs a new home. Speaking of needing a new home, <laughs> not me, no, 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 no. Um, I actually went to the... Timonium train show yesterday with uh, two buddies of mine, a uh, buddy by the name of Jack and a uh, fellow that I actually bowl with on Friday nights by the name of Big John. <clears throat> anyway, we went to the train show yesterday. They call it a train show. It wasn't really a train show. It was more of, I've got this stuff to get rid of, which is great, but... You know, I, I, when I expect train show, I want to see layouts and trains running and things of that nature. Well, they had a couple of layouts there. Uh, the Mead Area, Mead Area Model Railroaders, or the Mars Group, was there. And the um, uh, they had the, an American Flyer S-Gage layout there. Um, they also had uh, another another group of... Uh, HO uh, scale. I don't. I didn't catch the name of that one. I didn't take any video because, to be honest, it was the small show. Then when it comes around my way in on Super Bowl Sunday, that weekend, that's the big show. That's the one I usually like to hit. Anywho, so anyway, I was there yesterday and I found some things that I didn't have, and I went ahead and spent five bucks and I got. That it happens to be a refrigerator car, and to go along with it, another refrigerator car. I had not I had not seen either one of those before. I didn't have them. I plan on running some uh, refrigerator cars on the layout. Obviously, I've already got some. I've just added two more to the list. 
for five bucks, hey, and one of them needs a little bit of work, gee, just like everything else I've got. Now on to something completely different. Um, the last time I was down here, actually it was yesterday, I came across an issue that I really am not too sure about what's going on, but we're going to kind of dig into it and see what's happening. Um, I had two locomotives decide that they were not going to run for me while my buddy Jack was over here, so the light comes on, there's no motion. So we're going to dig into, and of course one of them happens to be the one for the home road. So we're going to dig into this real quick and see what's going on. I got a feeling it may just be that the grease has gotten gummed up in here or something. And let me go ahead and try and bring this to a point where you guys can see it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, but we'll give it a shot anyways. Sorry. Hey, look at that. Hey! Huh? The motor spins, but it was not happy yesterday. And in fact, now it wants to run, but that's full throttle. Boy, that took a long time to come up to speed. Hmm. Of course, just like everything else on the way out, it needs to be, it probably needs to be maintained. That's probably the biggest thing, so, okay, so I'm a little bit happier now. At least I know it's not terminal. Let me take a look at Mr. This was the other one that decided it was going to stop working yesterday. So... take this one apart and see what's going on with it. Hopefully it's the same type of deal. That would certainly be, to a point, would be nice. And that seems to be the case. Alright. And again, it's probably just the fact that they just need to be cleaned up real good. And I know people have seen me do this already, but just because of the fact that we're here, Just messing around. Let's go ahead and take a look and let's do a little bit of a dive into this and see what we can find. As soon as I find a, a screwdriver, uh, Phillips head is not going to do it. There we go. You know what? So I can actually see what the heck it is I'm doing. If you're wondering what I'm up to, that's what I'm up to. <laughs> so I can actually see what the heck is going on here. Actually, that doesn't look to be too bad inside of there.
I do need a paper towel though. Good. There they are. Let's just throw the tools around. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and break this one down a little bit because it looks like the grease is slightly, slightly screwed up here. You know, we had talked about grease getting caked up inside, and I'm not sure how well you all can see that. Probably not real well at all. Might be able to see it better when I, um, when I actually get down in to the nitty gritty here when I take the actual gear mechanisms apart. take the mechanism apart here. Of course, uh, pull the wheels out. This is always a bit of a pain. Because not only do you have to pull them apart, but you also have to make sure you put them back together the right way. Now see, this doesn't look, well, I was going to say, this side doesn't look too bad. But we're going to go ahead and get the garbage off the outside of this. And we'll go ahead and get the garbage off the inside. You can see where it started to cake up down the bottom here, right there, across the bottom, and over here. So, take the gears out. Might be easier with a pair of tweezers. Oh, you know what? While well, I'm sitting here thinking about it, for those that don't know, that, that stuff that I am uh, going ahead and using for the content, that is HO scale only. I'm sorry. Uh, apologize ahead of time to the S scalers, the N scalers, and the O gaugers that, uh, sorry, none of that stuff is available. That This is all HO gauge. So, I'm sorry. So this is open to only, that contest is open only to HO Gagers. Or if you want to get something, or if you want to put your name in a hat and if you win, if you want to give it to somebody that's an HO Gager, well that's fine. But that's just a heads up that 
it is atro gauge. Ah, that wasn't nice. I don't know that came apart. How the heck does that go back together? Okay, that takes care of that. I'm going to go ahead and pull the gear off the top of the tower here. Go ahead and run, get him kind of cleaned up a little bit while I'm at it. And for the video, I'm only going to do the one side. We'll go ahead and start putting this back together. Of course, I forgot to bring down my grease and my oil, but that's okay. There's the oil. There's the grease. And my toothpicks. We're going to need those in a minute. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start putting the gears back in here. Oh, excuse me. There we go. And what I'm going to do here uh, one of my toothpicks and I'll drain up a little bit of uh, grease right across the gears there. That should be more than enough because you don't want to put too much then it'll start spraying oil all over or grease all over the place. We don't want that. Okay, now let's go ahead and put the wheels back in. This is always a little bit tricky because the little square boxes obviously have to match up to slide back into the frame. And you also have to get the wheels back in there, so it's a little bit of a balancing act. But we'll get it. Hopefully without the dog fur. There we go, that's two. And we'll get the last one. Bingo. Sweet. Now, This, of course, these only go on one way.
There we go. Sweet. Now, for good, good measure, what we're going to do is we're going to put a little drop of oil on top of the tower gear. That way when it goes ahead and makes contact with this worm gear that we have up here, we'll be in decent shape. There we go. Put this piece back on, and that is an Atherin Blue Box ear lube. Now, go ahead and we'll do uh, our bearings. which would have probably been easier to get to before I went ahead and put the thing back together, but that's okay. Put a little oil around the bearings, and the back side of this is pretty much done. We'll have to work on the front end, but I'll do that at another time, because I don't want to bore the living heck out of everybody. Now just for grins, let's see what we get. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, let me get the camera set back up to my ugly mug here. I see if I have a little bit of an issue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not right in the head. Nobody ever said I was. So, that's basically, that's it for tonight. Go ahead and put that over there. Put that there. Like I said, the contest is going to go one more week. We're going to, I'm going to go ahead and end it on the uh, 9th or the 10th. Probably going to be the 10th, considering the fact that the day is the 3rd, and I usually do these on Sundays. So, um, we'll go ahead, we'll end the contest on the 10th. Um, so, get your entries in. Uh, like I said, my email will be in the comments area. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. Right now, there's only 8. So if you didn't hear your name and you want to be a part of this, like I said, email down at the bottom when uh, when you go ahead and you listen to vlog uh, vlog 21 and what my niece calls me. Um, like I said, it was a device from that was on a commercial or an infomercial back in the late 80s, early 90s, um, and. Um, it's between minute and 16 and minute 17 on that vlog, so you all know the deal. You wait for the eyeball. Green tracks ahead. We'll catch you all next time. Be safe out there. God bless. See ya.